Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your mat. I'm Cassandra from Mobile Home, and I'm so happy to bring you this virtual yoga practice from the beautiful Confluence Park here in San Antonio, Texas. Um, this free yoga class is part of our ongoing series that we offer along with the San Antonio River Foundation, free every single Sunday at 10 a.m. Typically, we join an actual community here under these amazing concrete pedals, um, but in current circumstances, um, we have been bringing you these virtual practice since April, and I'm so happy that we're able to continue to connect with our community and even some new community out there. Um, so I'm so happy to have you joining me from wherever you are. Um, feel free to comment and let me know where you are tuning in from because I'd really love to know uh, how far we're able to reach and, and how many of you are still able to uh, become part of this um, community every Sunday morning. So thank you so much for being here. We're gonna begin this practice actually standing up. So unroll your mat um, and stand just like me in the middle of your mat, finding a nice comfortable stance about hip width heart, feet planted into the ground. Roll your shoulders back and down. And then just allow your palms to open. Let's bring the eyelids to close. Just take a few moments to breathe in and out from your arms. Breathe and around. Today's theme for practice is going to be the idea of rooting to rise. The more we root and ground through the soles of our feet into the earth, we're going to rebound that energy up as we lift through the heart. We rise taller through the front chakra, finding full body length in this nice, strong Tadasana posture. So, Tadasana, that we arrive standing at attention. This Tadasana sets up our physical shape, this long, tall, straight spine, rounded rebounded into expansiveness, this true north alignment that we carry throughout the rest of our practice. So let's take one more big breath, strong through the feet, up through the crown, and then exhale to ground back down. And inhale, open up your eyes. Let's extend the arms, just like the rays of the sun that's rising up above. You're going to bring the palms together above the head, and then Slowly bring your thumbs to touch right at the center of your heart. As you press the palms together, feel the backs of your shoulder blades squeezing back. And coming back into the feet, feel that root into the earth. As you rebound and lift up through the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together and drop the shoulders away from the ears. Let's bring a little bit of water energy behind the knee. Take another inhale, lift. And this time as you exhale, just bring the chin down toward your chest, bowing into your palms as you honor the intention that brought you to your mat, to your practice this morning, honoring this virtual community that we're creating. Taking one more breath in through your nose. This time open your mouth, sigh it out. Make your feet just a little bit wider than your hips. Turn the toes out. We're going to inhale and just stretch all 10 fingers up. As you exhale, you're going to bend in the knees and just bring the hands in front of you. And then just make this move, movement fluid. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, sinking down. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, down. Just two more. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, down. One more time. In. Exhale down. Inhale back up, finding this starfish pose, stretching in all directions. And then as you exhale, bring your hands to your hips, turn your feet parallel, soften behind the knees, just begin to fold forward. So your feet are pretty wide here, finding a wide leg stance and a nice soft upper back here. So we're coming into ragdoll, bringing the hands towards the mat, allowing the fingertips to dangle, the head to dangle. Even grab onto opposite elbows here, adding a little more weight. 
And then as you pause here to breathe, we'll find that root through the soles of our feet. And that lift, that rebound, extension through the neck. Reaching back up towards the sky, all 10 fingers high. As you exhale, bring the right hand to your right hip. Root through the feet, reach through the left fingertips, and then exhale, lean over towards the right side. You can use that right hand for stability to press the hips over, getting a nice stretch through the left side. You may also choose to reach that right arm and maybe grab onto your left wrist and just give it a little tug little more depth and stretch in the left side body. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back up to center, reach 10 fingers to the sky. And then exhale, left hand to your hip. Inhale, the right arm high. And then exhale, leaning to the other side. You're again using that left hand as a brace, reaching tall and long through the right fingertips, stretching all the way open in that right side body. Left hand can come to the wrist. Taking a couple of moments to tug a little deeper. And then inhale, come back to center to the fingers. Meet the sky. And exhale, let it drop that line. Just take a couple of shoulder rubs and shake out the legs. Kind of move some of that energy around the body. All right, one more stretch from this position. We're going to take our feet wide once again, a little bit wider than the hips. Hands are going to come to the hips. And then you're just going to rotate on the heels and start to turn towards that right side. So the left toes are facing in a little bit of a diagonal and the right toes straight forward. Try to square your hips. They're rooting through the feet and squaring through the hips. Take an inhale. Now find that rise from the root as you grow along through the heart, through the crown. Exhale, we're going to bow halfway down towards the ground, just to parallel, we're going to stay. Notice if you walk out that right knee, take a little soft bend here. And with your hands on the hips, try to square them once again, drawing the right hip back and the left hip forward. You're going to inhale, lengthen, find that growth through the heart, to the crown, and shoulders ground down will be holding you. Let's take one more breath here. Inhale, square the hips, reach the crown long. Exhale, stay here. Keep pulling the crown and the heart long. And inhale, begin to rise back up. We're just going to rotate all the way around towards the other side. And inhale, get tall. As you exhale, you're going to fold into that space, parallel to the ground. Square your hips. Square them. Reach the heart, reach the crown long. And here, tend to Walk out that left knee, take the micro bend, realign the hips, pull the heart, one more breath in and out here. And turning through the feet, rise all the way up. You're just going to take that right foot to meet your left, and then come all the way up towards the top of your mat. All right, finding your Tadasana this time at the top of the mat, we'll use that same root to rise as we move through some fluid movement of our sun salutation. So we start in that Tadasana pose. Take an inhale, turn all 10 fingers up towards the sky. And stay here. Exhale, sink the shoulders down. Root through the feet, rise one more time here. And exhale, fold back. Have the knees bend as you come down. Inhale, halfway lift, heart draws. Pause here, exhale. Pausing, finding that maybe the hands on the hips as a reminder, just reaching those hips back, heart long, just like we did in standing. Nice parallel. And then exhale this time, you're going to fold all the way down. Bring 
the hands to the ground, step your feet to the back of your mat, find a high push-up or plank here. And this can be done, you know, with the knees, always a reminder not to suffer here. And then imagine you're rooting your heels into the earth, finding that root and the rise, the length, pulling the heart forward through the shoulder blades, through the crown, you're reaching along, take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, lower to the belly. Inhale, begin to peel up into low cobra as you lift the chest. Exhale, pause here. Squeeze the shoulders in. Zip your navel up and ground into the tops of the feet. So we're still rooting here. Inhale, rise the heart a little more up higher. Exhale, hold it. Making your way into our first downward facing dog. Lifting the hips up high. And soften the back of your knees here. Take a couple moments to breathe. Now we have some new roots. Our palms are also the roots. So we root to rise. The root, the palm, the rise is pulling those hips back and away from the hands and wrists. Taking one more breath here. And taking the gaze forward towards your hands. Just walk your feet, step your feet, however you want to get to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale. Moving through that one a little quicker this time. One breath one movement, all right? So I'm gonna move to be a little better, better in that one. All right, inhale, ten fingers to the sky. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms to the ground, step your feet back into that high plank. Exhale, lower to the ground. So it's a quick movement, that's why we wanna be mindful. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lower. Downward facing dog. Hips move up behind the sit. Take a deep breath in and a breath out. And this time, rooting through the hands and hips, lifting those hips. Exhale. Looking forward, walk your feet to meet your hands. And inhale, halfway lift. Time we're going to root through your left, or through your right foot. Bring your left foot into a tree. So that can be the heel right at your ankle. That can be the foot coming towards your inner thigh, or that can be your foot coming all the way towards your upper thigh. Just make sure you're not pushing on the inside of your knee. So bring the palms to touch in front of your heart once you've found the leg position you want to use. And then we're going to really get strong through that grounded leg. So strong through the right foot, the right leg, finding that root to rise up through the crown. You may still be a little wobbly, that's okay. I want you to take that left foot and root it into the right leg, really pressing them together and then starting to get a little taller. Yeah. All right, hands can stay here. Or well, if you feel you can rise even more, perhaps you begin to reach up and grow your branches. It's really important to grounding that we also ground our gait so that we have something steady to look at when we start to feel wobbly. That helps us to feel more stable. One more breath here. As you exhale, begin to let it out. Let it go. Check out your right. Okay, this time we're going to take it to the other side. So you're just rooting through that left foot. Right heel can come to the ankle. Right foot can come to the inner thigh. Or the foot can come all the way to the upper inner thigh. Or inner calf, upper inner thigh. Just again, not on the knee. And then press the palms together at your heart center. As you seal the palms, we need to try to seal the shoulders behind you. And then we find that nice strong root rooting into the left foot. Rise up to the crown, rise up to the heart. And then 
pressing the right foot into the left, another root, to help us rise even stronger, finding your drishti gaze, and maybe growing your branches tall. Fingers high, shoulders low, hands at the mouth, can go up. Take one more breath in your beautiful tree pose here. And then exhale, go ahead, lower and shake it out. We've got our hips a little open, got our balance, nice and steady. Coming back to the top of your mat. Inhale, let's extend all 10 fingers with the chest. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half this time, as you exhale, hold forward, reach your hands, and you're just going to make your left leg back by. Just take it up to the side, so you should be able to see it. I want you to turn all five toes down, heels lifting, right heel rooting, trying to square your hips, take an inhale, and exhale. And then begin to bend into your right knee, you're stepping your left foot back, you're going to turn it all the way open. We're going to open into warrior two. So you're bending the right knee over your ankle, sealing into the outer edge of your back foot. Arms are coming parallel to the earth. So here we root, root through the heels, root through the feet, all four corners. And then root in towards your midline, squeeze those hips in. And then rise up to the crown, reach out through the fingers. So that we're imagine that rise as being an expansion, kind of like our tree. We've got branches coming in all directions. Take an inhale. Sink a little deeper into your right knee. Exhale. And flip your right palm. We're going to reverse your way. Reach up and back. Big open side body. That right knee is going to want to straighten. I want you to really be mindful, grounding it forward, reaching it forward, finding that expansion the throat to the right fingertips. One more breath in and out. And inhale, you're going to rise back. Find warrior two on the top. Start to straighten the right knee this time. Straighten the right knee, arms parallel. So we're going to root, or we're going to find that the link by taking the hips back, like kind of sassing that left hip back, and reaching the right arm long. So you're finding length of the right side body, then you're going to bring the right hand just down wherever it lands on your leg, but you're not pressing weight, so we're bringing pressure into it, just anchoring it. And then opening the left shoulder up. So our triangles are really grounded pose because it gives us this idea that we're talking about here. We root through the feet and we draw that energy in and then we expand it out in all directions. Through the left fingertips, through the crown, Reaching back through that left hip. Let's take a breath in. Exhale. Your inhale begin to rise back up. Return your left toes out. So both feet are facing out. Inhale, starfish. Exhale, goddess, bend your knees. Moving between those. Inhale, starfish. Exhale, goddess. Starfish. Exhale, goddess. We'll do one more. Inhale, starfish. Exhale, goddess. All right. Inhale back through starfish. This time, as you exhale, start to turn your feet to find warrior two over your left knee. So you're bending that left knee deep, opening up your arms wide, stretching them out long. Bend a little deeper into your left knee. Inhale, reach the left arm up and back. And then exhale, just take the hands all the way down to the mat. Take your left foot to meet your right. Find the downward facing fold. Breath in. Move forward. Take your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Now, the top of your mat is the back of your mat. So turn around. Inhale, halfway. So begin to root into your left foot and take your right leg behind you. The fingertips are still on the mat. That left knee can stay bent as much as you need it to. You're curling the right toes down, lifting through the heel. Take 
taking a few more long deep breaths here. Taking one last inhale. With your exhale, take your right toes back and down. And we're coming back into that warrior two over your left knee. Bending deep into the left knee. Anchoring into the outer edge of the right foot. All four corners of that left foot. Finding that lift, that rise through the crown, reaching through the fingertips. This time flipping the left hand, coming back into that reverse warrior and holding it here. Sinking deep into the left knee. And as you send the left knee forward, send those left fingertips back. Big full deep breath. Next, inhale, rise. Begin to straighten your left knee. You're going to find that triangle again. So you're sending your hips back, weight really pressing into that right foot. Inhale, the left arm reaches long over the left toe. You just tick tock your hands wherever they go on that left leg as you begin to stretch up and open through the right arm. So take a little micro bend in your knee. And as you root down, really allow that grounding, rooting energy to help you rise and reach and expand. The crown of the right arm. And then on your next inhale, just rise all the way. Turn parallel this time with your feet, toes facing forward. Inhale the arms up. As you exhale, take the hands back behind you and interlace the hands. You can either make a fist here or you can just grab onto opposite wrists. So that's gonna give you a root to help us root the shoulders away from the ears when we fold forward. So take an inhale, already start to feel those shoulders pulling from the ears as you rise tall through the crown of the heart. And then keep that length in the spine as you begin to fold forward, softly bending your knees as much as you need. So the hands stay anchored on the back, either in a fist or grabbing onto the wrists. I want you to now anchor those shoulders, plug them down, bring them down away from your ears. Your head get heavy, your neck get long. That's not enough, and you want to go deeper. You can always take the hands away from the back if you don't have to. But otherwise, just keep that root so that you can expand, especially if you tend to hold tension in your neck. toes back towards the front of your mat, bending into warrior two right side. Flip your right palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands all the way down to the mat. Take your right foot to meet your left. And then into downward facing. Take your breath in. trying to avoid locking out the knee. So try to keep a little soft bend in it. And then begin to fold forward. So the heart comes over your leg. So notice how I even keep my fingertips. It's a habit. Kind of behind my hips. Again, another root. As I root through the fingertips, I pull through the crown. I keep myself long. And the goal here is not to go down further. It's to feel length in the heart. Instead of a, a caving in. 
maybe your hands come forward. You can plant them into the earth, kind of pull back as your root heart gets long. One more breath. And as you inhale, rise. And then switch sides. Make that right leg long. Left foot comes down to that tree pose. Realign yourself into that nice tall root. Sit bones. And this through the crown and heart. And then as you exhale, begin to fold. So you're rooting into the hip bones, reaching to the crown and heart. Maybe those fingertips stay behind you as you get nice and long here. Perhaps they come in front of you. See what helps you to feel like you are growing longer and stronger in this To meet your left, both knees up towards the ceiling. Pressing the hands behind you, feet to the ground. We're going to root into the hands and the feet and begin to lift up through the hips, finding a nice reverse tabletop. So, again, rooting through the feet, through the hands, we're lifting through the hips. begin to lower yourself all the way down. You need to find the roots rise here as you root through the feet and rise through the arms, finding a big full body stretch. Reach, reach. Exhale. Just let your heels and the hands come to the earth as they come up. And begin to walk your feet over to the right side of your mat. And you're going to lift your shoulders as you move your upper body over the right side. You want to keep your hips planted. So imagine you're creating a little press of the shape. The name of this posture is banana asana. So we're making a little banana shape. Making a deep stretch in the left side body. You can go deeper by lifting the left heel or you crossing it over that right ankle. And you can once again, like we found earlier, right hand can come to left wrist. And just hug a little bit on the arm to get a stretch. Let your breath go in and open up and the left side body. Go ahead and wide to find happy baby. Soles of the feet towards the ceiling or sky. You can use your hands anywhere on your shins, inner thighs, or if you're able to grab onto the feet. Maybe continuing to rock from side to side. Any sensation in the sacrum. the arms to open wide. Take an inhale with the knees in the center of your chest. 
And as you exhale, let them fall over towards the left side, just letting Earth take over here. You can give yourself an assist, especially since we're unable to be together, and I love giving assists in our twists. You can take that left hand and just anchor your knees down. Help yourself out a little bit here. Can you come up towards the sky or maybe towards the right side? Last embrace. Let's bring your nose up towards your knees. Really embrace yourself, hug yourself. So kind of like that idea of the opposites of rooting and rising, grounding in to expand. And we're going to root in, root in, root in. the opposite of where we want to be when we expand into our chest. So squeeze, squeeze, and then release and try to find the complete opposite. Why? Heels, wide arms, hearts, taking up space, allowing yourself to be held here by gravity, allowing the breath to move through you naturally. You can so thinly move. Fingers weave together and are 
unshakable trust in the spirit that makes the earth. So with each inhale, as you feel yourself sitting here, ground the earth, lift the heart and expand the head beneath the beneath the warmth of your own touch. And take just one moment here to think of the openness that you feel, whatever moved or shifted for you in this practice. Thinking yourself, but also thinking this community Showing up this morning and inspiring me and one another to show up for themselves. I'm so appreciative of each and every one of you. Let's bow to the Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. I am so happy to have each and every one of you from wherever you're able to join from. We're going to continue to bring you these virtual practices from Confluence Park um, for the foreseeable future until it's safe for us to come back together again. So continue to support us and each other every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. right here on Facebook Live. And again, if you get a chance, please say hello in the comments so that we can know where we're all connecting with each other.